how to configure Cisco I/O logging. By default, a switch sends the output from system messages and debug privilege exec commands to a logging process. The logging process controls the distribution of logging messages to various destinations, such as the logging buffer, terminal lines, or a Unix syslog server, depending on your configuration. The process also sends messages to the console. So these are the syslog severity levels. Uh, and I actually have a, I mean, a document, Cisco document here that describes, I mean, that has, you know, description. So emergency level zero, system unstable, uh, alerts one, level one, immediate action needed, and etc. I mean, so on. So this is the logging, I mean, system log message format. And I also have this in this document as well. Uh, here, this is the element and the description. So this is the sequence number. Uh, I mean, we have sequence number, timestamp, facility, uh, which basically refers to SNMP, SIS, and so forth. Severity, single digit code from zero to seven, that is the severity of the message. Yeah. And it says here that for a description of the severity levels, see this table. I guess that would be this one. Where is this table? List, where is it? Table. Let me find this table. Ah, uh, this. Ah, uh, there we go, yeah. yeah. So, severity level. Where was I? Yeah, this, that's, this is what we just, uh, I just described actually. So, for a description of the severity level, see this one here. So, this, are, this is the description of the severity levels. Okay, and how do you pronounce this? A mnemonic text string that uniquely describes the message and uh, description. Uh, text string containing detailed information about the event being reported. And this is basically the, uh, the format. And this table is just describing uh, the elements in the, in the uh, and this uh, syslog line. So we have a sample here. So looks like this is the timestamp. Uh, facility, this could be the facility. And this is severity, yeah. Yeah. And this here is just this this particular uh, so basically the string, the text string that is uniquely describes the message. Yeah, so that would be this, up, down, and description. <clears throat> and this is actually how you configure it here. I just, uh, I just have a sample of how you can configure NTP or specifically the NTP server. Uh, this is just to remind myself that uh, you need to basically, you know, have the correct system clock uh, so you can have better timestamps, basically. But uh, this is the, this is how you, 
I have a topology here, switch one and you only have switch one and switch two connected to each, to each other. And I can just, you know, just ping each other. So that's switch two dot two. So let me just go ahead with the configuration. Um, so I can just service timestamps log data date time milliseconds local time and add time zone information to time zone. Okay. So, so this means here that uh, the I believe the switch is using the uh, local time of itself. If you choose this particular option. So next is, this is how you configure the login buffer. So in this case, yeah, I can just say 50, I'm not sure where, which size, maybe this is in bits. <clears throat> Doesn't say here, but uh, let's see, or bytes. Maybe this is in bytes. We can uh, verify that later. Let me just go ahead and verify now. Yeah, this is in bytes. So I will also say no login console. So meaning that uh, the system will not output the messages to the console. And this here, this is actually by default. We can um, at least, f f uh, th this is configured by default, uh, I believe in the newer versions. <clears throat> And this here, this is just to include the user info. Yeah, enable logging of user info on privileged mode enabling. Yeah, and this here, this is how you configure your uh, syslog server. So, and you can use hostname or IP address. So let's say I'm gonna going to use the host name. So I guess switch is trying to contact it, or it's actually. How about just like that? Oh, yeah. So it's trying to contact that, which it's not gonna reach because that's just a dummy host name or domain name. Going to, yeah. So let's try to use a, just an IP address. Or actually I'm gonna say no IP domain lookup and then configure it again. So it's automatically trying to translate it. I just did a IP domain lookup. Yeah. So yeah, it's trying to <coughs> still uh, contact the syslog server. Let me try again. How about this? Just log host name, right? IP address of oh, okay. Now I host name or 
Mm, that's weird. Syslog. Yeah, I will just try to use a an IP address, which is just fine, actually. So that's fine. I can use the IP address, a dummy IP address in this case, and I can actually also uh, configure a uh, a source. So, but this is optional, so I will not do it. So let's verify, let's go ahead and verify our configurations. So I'm gonna say run all or just and logging. So this looks good. Uh, yeah. And let me see if, yeah, so logging um trap informational is enabled by default uh, and we can verify that by doing this command informational here and we could be more specific actually yeah so if we do show run logging, it will not show up because it is configured by default or it is enabled by default. So that is fine. Mm, how about, I think I missed this one. Yeah, so this is just to, um, Origin ID, I think this is for the uh, origin ID. So origin ID to slug messages. So I think this switch has some kind of origin ID. And yeah, so in this case, actually in this case, it's the IP address. So use origin hostname as ID. So we will use hostname of this switch as the origin ID. And one last thing I need to verify is this part here, which is already configured. I mean, showing in the running config. So now we can just verify Uh, the show logging, I mean the console logging, which is disabled. Um, we can verify monitor, which is monitor logging. This is not disabled by the, uh, this is not disabled. And sorry, did I say enabled? It's console logging is disabled. And show logging is yeah so we have 50,000 as our log buffer 50,000 bytes and if I use just this command you will get uh, more information so going to try to Let's say going to try to let's say remove VLAN one and just do show logging. So what happened? Uh, didn't oh okay. <clears throat> uh, 
looks like we don't see that um, we don't see that change that happened in the show logging output. It's not a good example. Let me just uh, try another example. Let's do this. Ping, switch to which I should be able to ping. Or maybe not. Yeah, it's admin down. We need to no shut it. I should be able to ping it now. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to try to make another change. Let's say this one. Just shut it down. And show like there we go. That we can see. Oh, okay. Let me. I guess it was just a little delayed. Okay, when we when I shut down or removed VLAN one, that particular change did not. Oh, it was here. Yeah, it was here. So yeah, that's uh, it worked. But uh, <clears throat> here you don't see the username who made the change, right? So I shut down interface villain one, which we can see the log here. Uh, and we also see that it went up after I no shot it. And I also shut down this interface and we can see that as well. So if we go back to the R uh, syslog message format, we see that uh, this here is basically notice. So line protocol down notice, which is not really, I mean, it went down, but you know, notice is what? What's the Notice is normal but significant condition. Okay. Okay, so I guess normal but significant condition, I guess that's fine. And three is actually error, so which is, well, the interface came up, so it's not really an error. Right, I'm just uh, trying to follow the the format because here this is the this would be the timestamp, right? Uh, and facility facility is this would be the facility, and this is the severity, and this is this here, which is basically uh, unique. What unique? Where was that again? In, uh, text string that uniquely describes the message. And description. Mm, which is this. So, um, Let me do another show logging again. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, we don't see, like I said earlier, the person who made the change in the in the output of show logging. So that's uh, the problem. Uh, in the next, 
actually in the <clears throat> probably in the next video I'm going to talk about that particular particular uh, scenario where you can configure the switch uh, so you can see the person who made the change but that's uh, that's uh, that would be on a I mean I will describe that on a on a new video or another video um, but for now yeah that's how you can configure Cisco IOS tagging